welcome. Hello. Well, hey, you're back. Fifth time this week. Finally decide on something? Yes. Really? So soon. Sorry, that was supposed to be a joke. What can I get you? One anti-mortonic self-administration. Oh, one of those? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to need you to fill out these forms. And these two. What? <sighs> That's just the first half. Could take a few hours to finish. I didn't realize there'd be so much paperwork. Well, usually most people aren't willing to explain their situation. If you tell me your problem and I approve it as an emergency need, then we can skip all of this. It is an emergency. I am infatuated with someone and it's grossly inappropriate. In love with an unfavorable suitor. Happens all the time. So your parents don't approve? No, they like her. They even ask about her sometimes. Hmm. Does she favor her own gender? It's always the attractive ones, the universe's way of torturing us. No, she's heterosexual. Then what's the issue? Well, she... Doesn't return your affections? I don't know, I'm not good at this stuff. About seeing if someone likes you back or not, I honestly don't know if she does. So the suspense is killing you and you need to end it? No, it's just... My liking her is inconvenient. Does she live far away? Long distance relationships aren't easy. No, I mean, it'll just never work out. Why? It just can't. Okay, I'm going to need you to be a little more vague and a lot more specific. <sighs> I'm sorry, I... Hey, it's okay, let's just both take a deep breath, okay? Ah. Now tell me, why won't it work? She's my friend's sister. It's my best friend's sister. Oh no. Yes, please tell me that qualifies as an emergency. It warrants a closer look. Or in this case, a questionnaire. I just need to ask you a few questions before I can approve this as an emergency purchase. Okay. One second, star-crossed lovers, frog prince curse, misogynistic in-laws. Here you go, best friend, sister. Question one, do you value the friendship you have with your best friend more than the potential relationship you could have with his sister? Oh, her. Oh, her sister. I don't know, I, I've known them both forever. I, I actually met her. Wait, before you continue, I'm going to need a name to represent this girl you like. It doesn't have to be her real name, just something I can call her. Lily. Is that her real name? I'm not good under pressure. So you were saying you met Lily? Yes, uh, I met Lily for, I actually met Lily before I met her sister, Jackie. Oh, I'm sorry, I said her name. It's fine, uh, go on. I met Lily first, but over the years, I've become close friends with Jackie. I see. Let me rephrase. Do you like one better than the other? Yes. No, I mean, I like them both equally, but not in the same way. Uh, Is that possible? There are many different types of love. You, for example, have Philia, an affectionate love for your friend Jackie, while you also carry Eros, a romantic love for her sister Lily. Different styles, but the level of love can still exist at the same depth and care. You know a lot about this. I have to. It's part of my job. Especially when I need to diagnose someone as having mania. That's the obsessive love, the dangerous kind. Oh no, I don't have that, do I? Oh, absolutely. What? No, absolutely not. You don't have that. Oh. Look, you're seeking an anti-love tonic for yourself, presumably to get rid of your feelings for Lily. 
You're not seeking a love potion to get her to fall in love with you. That's the sign of mania. Wait, please tell me you actually don't sell love potions. That brings consent into the question. No, we don't sell them and we never will. But there will always be those that think we do. Those are the ones we have to watch out for. The ones that want to possess others. I see. Next question. Is there any chance your unspoken feelings for Lily can negatively impact your friendship with Jackie? Yes. No hesitation. Why? Well, there's this rule in our friend group about not dating a friend's sibling or relatives. If Jackie found out I liked her sister, there'd be tension. Things would get awkward. What if they didn't? Can you guarantee that? No, it's just a question of whether or not you're willing to take the risk. I can't. I'd like to keep them both in my life. I don't want to risk losing either of them. That's fair. Next question. Did your love appear the first moment you saw Lily, or did it develop over time? You can't fall in love at first sight. Did your attraction towards Lily begin the moment you saw her, or did it build up over time? Why do you ask this question? Because it makes people uncomfortable. How does it help at all? You already know your answer, so I don't mind explaining. See, if love appears at the onset of meeting someone, then it's... <clears throat> If attraction appears at the onset of meeting someone, it's harder to cure. If it was something that was built up over time, then it could be broken down over time as well. Basically, one requires a tonic and the other can eventually be beaten by self-will. Okay, fine. I'll admit that my attraction towards Lily started... The moment you met her. Yes. Ah, that puts you one step closer to the tonic approval. Well, you say that like it's a bad thing. The tonic is what I came here for. You're aware of the side effects of an anti-amor, right? I've heard rumors. They're all true. Wait, it actually dries up your heart? Partially. See... The tonic is different than a regular tonic. Instead of restoring, it destroys. See, when the tonic goes in to cure you, it kills a part of your heart in the process. And then there's the other trade-off. Which is? The pain will go away, but you'll find it more difficult to love as easily or as strongly in the future. That leads to a new type of pain, one that I wouldn't wish on anyone. I don't think it could be any worse than what I'm feeling right now. That's what I said before I took it. You've taken it? Yes. Regrettably. Last question. If you were to approach your friend Jackie with your dilemma, do you believe there's any chance that she would understand? <laughs> I doubt it. But even if I did, Jackie's blessing wouldn't make much of a difference. How so? This situation has happened to me before. Before? Back in high school, I was dating this girl and I had a crush on her sister. I told my friend and she told me that it was okay for me to ask her out. So we dated and it was going well, till it wasn't. We barely spoke afterward. Well, breakups are tough, especially in high school. It wasn't just her. Her sister stopped speaking to me too. Just flat out stopped. I learned the hard way that if you date a friend's sibling, you risk losing both of them. But that's not always how it happens. I don't see it happening any differently this time. It would take some sort of miracle, like... Uh... Like for making the first move. Then you wouldn't feel guilty if it didn't work out because you didn't instigate it. Are you this candid with all your customers? Just the ones I want to keep from having buyer's remorse. Which brings me to my last question. I thought you said the last one was I left. Final question. If Lily admitted her attraction towards you, would you be willing to risk having a relationship with her? 
Yes, but I think the chances of her making the first move are next to impossible. I see. Well, you'll be happy to hear that your emergency purchase was approved. Oh, thank you. I just need you to sign this waiver, acknowledging you understand the side effects of taking this tonic. I do. The effect is permanent. I know. Okay. Thank you, Ethan. Of course. One anti more tonic. And here's your receipt. Oh, no, thank you. I don't need it. I'm not going to be returning this. Oh. Okay. One important thing. For this to work, you have to wait to drink it until you've been in contact with Lily within the past 24 hours. I was at their house last night. Will that work? It depends. Was there any moment when you are less than three feet away from her? I sat between her and Mr. Desara at dinner. Desara? Oh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have used the last name. Lily Desara. Do you know her? No, do you want a bag? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Did I say 24 hours? I meant 24 minutes. What? In order for this to work, you have to wait 24 minutes before you drink this. Really? Who's the expert here? Uh... It says right here, 24 minutes. <laughs> it's actually the only thing in the store with that kind of time frame. Everything else is 24 hours or more. That's why I was confused. Oh, um... Okay. So I have to time it so that within 24 minutes of seeing Lily, I drink this. Correct. How will I feel afterward? Nothing at first, but then you'll feel your chest tighten for about a minute, and then you'll just feel really lethargic for about a day or two. It shares a few symptoms of the classic heartache, but doesn't come close to the pain of one. Okay. I'll head over there now. Right now? I'd rather get this over with as soon as possible. Jackie told me they weren't going anywhere tonight, so I think I'll just pretend that I left my jacket there or something. Thank you for all your help. I put your receipt in the bag, just in case. Oh, um, okay, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And pick up, pick up, pick up. Lily, Lily. Okay, listen to me very carefully. You know, yeah, it's Jade. Oh. I have to ask you a very important question. Matter of life and death and a potential relationship. You know your friend Ethan? It doesn't matter how I know him. What matters is that I just sold him an anti-amor. Yes, an anti-amor. So I need to know if you like him because if you like...